Cis and trans isomers are also possible in cyclic molecules. Even though they don't have a double bond in them, the carbon-carbon bonds are also still not free to rotate because of the, the cyclic connectivity. So this particular carbon-carbon bond, for example, we can't spin it all the way around like you can do in an alkene. It's stuck, it's locked into place because of the ring of carbon atoms. And because we don't have free rotation of the carbon-carbon bonds in a cyclic molecule, we can also have cis and trans isomers among cyclic molecules. For example, this is a cyclopentane, and I've put two halogens, purple atoms, on there. And you can see that both of these halogens are sticking up. If you look down the plane of the ring, put it this way so they're actually sticking up. If we look right down the plane of the, of the, of the ring, both of the halogens are up above the plane of the ring. They're on the same side of the ring. So they're a cis isomer. This is a cis isomer. Here's a cyclopentane again with two halogens on it, but if we look down the plane of the ring, you can see that one of the halogens is pointing on one side of the ring, the other halogen is pointing up on the other side of the ring. So this is a trans isomer because the two substituents are on different sides of the ring. There's a couple ways that we can uh, indicate this using line structure. One way to indicate the two different isomers is to just draw a regular line structure of the molecule like this and then show that both of the substituents are on the same side of the ring by pointing both of them up in our, in our line notation. So that would be the cis isomer. And then in the other example, the trans isomer, you'd point one up and one down. I don't really like this kind of notation because I feel like it creates a lot of possibility for accidentally communicating stereochemistry, cis and trans isomerization when you're just drawing a regular old line structure and you're not intending to indicate whether the substituents are cis or trans. A better way to notate cis and trans with rings is to use the wedge and dash bonds. So this, where it's showing both of the chlorine atoms coming out of the plane of the paper, this is our cis isomer, and it's much easier for us to know that that's what's trying to be communicated. Or you could draw them both going into the plane of the paper. That would also be acceptable. This is also cis. And the trans isomer would just have one up, one down, and it wouldn't matter which one you chose to put up and which one you chose to point down.